Okay guys, so I showed you the plan. So I've marked it out a couple of days ago. So you can see here where I've, I've laid, laid it all out. Here's where the um, ambulance toilet's gonna sit. Okay, we've got the dishwasher, kitchen sink here. So we've got to get a line over to here. Okay, we've taken the existing toilet out that was here and gone down the line so we could see, you know, because I've got no idea where the plans are or, you know, where the drains are for this. Here's the disabled toilet, we'll sit here and then we'll have a little trough or something. So once we uh, get all the concrete cut up, we get the bobcat in to, to lift it all out and then um, we, can, we can go ahead to that. So we'll just wait for the concrete cutter now. Still got no power today, so it was a bit of a hassle. Uh, there was a pole, um, part, like one of the transformers, caught on, caught a light around the, around the corner, and I went over to ask the guys, hey, how, how long is this gonna take? And he, he was like, well, there's 75 pole fires today in Perth, and so just right off the rest of the day. But anyway, we, most of the stuff we, you know, we can use you know, um, battery stuff for. Anyway, I've got the excavator in here um, from uh, Dig Right, and uh, just to pull up the floor, you can see that the concrete guys have cut it all out in sections for us so we can just start pulling it out and uh, getting the whole bathroom section out here like that and then once once it's all out then we can start exposing the pipe and then connect onto existing plumbing and then run it all to the you know the new ambulant toilet and then disabled kitchen sink and then maybe you know a stack going upstairs for the um, you know the, the new if we put kitchen sinks upstairs in the in the meeting room and also the upstairs office as well so Anyway, we'll get onto that in a second now, so that'll be good. So, a big day, a uh, bit of a hassle with no power and stuff like that, but um, yeah, we, I, I picked up the excavator and stuff, so that was great. It was really hard getting back to the wall there, but I'll show you what I've done over here. So we've pulled up the, uh, the whole section. Okay, so we just took it all. The hardest parts were getting it off the, off the wall there because uh, they couldn't cut right up to it. So it's a bit of a bomb, bomb site at the moment. We've got all the bits of concrete um, just laying over here. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get a bobcat in to pick all that up and, um, and take it away. So uh, good. So tomorrow we're, we're just going to um, yeah, clean up all, get, get all the rocks and everything out. Um, there are some cables over here, like this one here looks like it's a, um, looks like it's a phone line, okay? And uh, you can see there's a phone line coming out of it. Um, and that goes next door, so the guy reckons that it might be the phone line for next door or something. So I hope we haven't, you know, busted anything there. So we're just trying to be, uh, you know, gen gentle, gentle. And then uh, also we'll have a try trying to get this window out as well. You see they've, they've cut the bottom of it here so we can, uh, you can see it through there um, and then we can make that the door. So it is a bit, you kick it, it is moving a bit. Uh, so, so that's good. So hopefully tomorrow we can um, yeah, take that bottom section out, hopefully leave the window, window in there and then we can get it you know, properly measured up so we can put the new door in here so the guys can come in here. Okay, I'm back to the factory here. Today, um, <clears throat> Brenda and Benno have uh, come to give us a hand um, just prepping the, the uh, place for concrete. So we're getting the levels correct and uh, we're driving some holes into the side here so we can put some, um, put some pegs in and then it all ties it in together, you know? So this, this slab will tie into this slab and so, yeah, it becomes rock solid. You see Brendo's made it a lot thicker on the sides here. This is where the walls are going to sit, okay? So it becomes like its own footing. And so, you know, it's, it, so when that wall is sitting on, there's not going to be stacks of weight on it because it's not really, the mezzanine is not resting on it. But um, it'll you know, just be a bit better, you know? It's always doesn't cost, it, cost much to get it right. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to level it all off today. And then I'll um, get the white ants to spray, you know, so there's no white ants and stuff to come up in the future. And then, um, then we can put the mesh down. Um, or the black plastic first and then the mesh and then we'll be uh, you know good to go with the concrete so um, yeah we're getting there so good times 